I'm here with Matt Tuyasobo, manager of the Gwinnett Stripers. And I want to talk about the rule changes. Obviously, we have the pitch clock. That's a big difference this year. We have the bigger bases. We have no shift. And the biggest thing for me is two disengagements per at bat. Last year, when you heard them say, we're going to implement these rules, what was your initial thought? And then what was your thought once the season ended? Uh, my initial thought was there was going to be a lot of uh, frustrated players at the AAA level. And uh, I think the guys, at the, at the end of the season, I think it was a very positive experience. The hitters took probably three, four weeks to get adjusted to the time because they have to be in the box by eight seconds regardless if the pitcher is towing the rubber or not or else it's a strike. And so um, over time, um, you, you see pitchers try to mess with the hitter's timing by coming set earlier, like by you know, 12, 13 seconds, and then they'll hold the ball for all the way down to zero and then the hitter's just standing in the box frozen like a statue and and, and so this that cat and mouse game that they're trying to disrupt timing that's all that's what it's all about disrupt yeah. timing disrupt timing and routines so cat and mouse game i want you to talk a little bit about base running i i know that the fans are excited to see a little bit more action when you talk about base running did you push the envelope a little bit more as a manager try to get these guys to look at the clock and if you have two disengagements now you start to run definitely uh, I would say that guys when they got on the base were a lot more aggressive um, they were trying to take advantage of the clock I mean because if you're standing here at first base and you take your lead uh, you can look straight ahead and you can see the clock and and now it's just a matter of okay how many disengagements has, has he already had and usually when a pitcher's already done two I mean that after that second one they're taking off Oh, see, yeah. there it is, right there. Twice. And just like that, Acuna gets to go to second base. And that was his third time, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's thrown over twice. So now, with the shift being banned, you have to have two guys on each side of the base. So the shortstop now can't be on the second base side uh, of the infield. You have to have both feet in the grass. Who do you think benefits the most from the shift being banned? I wouldn't say that there's like one specific type a, a profile hitter. I mean, there's there's shapes and sizes all different that you know of hitters that you know do things and and, and whatnot. But there might be a guy that you know he, he he uses the whole field, but when he hits a ground ball, it's only on this side of the field. And where we used to defend that, you know, now we can no longer do that. So, you know, that's where you know we got to make sure we have athletes out here that that can cover and, and have range. And you know, we're blessed with uh, some athletes for sure in our infield. Um, now you're going to have some more action, you know, also on the bases, you know, guys going first to third, you know, because you don't have the guy that's sitting out in right field, you know, cutting that ball off, not allowing your runner to go to first and third. And so, um, you know, Wash is going to be having his arm's going to be ready. His arm's going to be going <laughs> even more now, probably. Well, I can't wait to see it happen and implement all these rules. I know that 26 minutes ish uh, shaved off games is going to be exciting for me. But thanks for your time, man. We appreciate it. Best of luck this year. Thank you.